Thank you for tuning in to Terry's Swoop videos. On today's video, I'm gonna do a Where Are They Now on the beautiful actress, Tracy Camilla Johns. Now she became popular in the 1980s when she started in the movie, She's Gotta Have It. She's Gotta Have It was directed by Spike Lee. And this is Spike Lee's first movie. This is his first film production. And she did a great job in this movie. I thought she was beautiful. It's the first time I ever saw a black woman who practically wears no makeup. She wears her hair natural and she stars in this box office release movie. It's the first time I ever saw that. Tracy plays Nola Darling in the movie. And the character of Nola Darling is a woman who's a nymphomaniac. She sleeps with all these different men and she feels like she has to have as much sex as possible because she's addicted to sex. The movie was released in 1986. And back then, society was more conservative. The society didn't approve of a woman being sexually liberated. And this movie kind of started the whole sexual revelation of black women sleeping around and being with who they want to be with. I think if a woman is single and she doesn't have any kids and she's using safe sex, she should be allowed to sleep with whoever she wants to sleep with. I don't have a problem with it as long as they're using protection. Because if a woman is single, she doesn't have any kids, she should be allowed to date and sleep with whoever she wants with. I don't see anything wrong with that whatsoever. Now, Tracy Camilla went on to do other things. She played in commercials with Michael Jordan. She played in numerous music videos. But in 1990, she got her second acting role playing in New Jack City, where she plays the mistress of Nino Brown. And she was really sexy in this movie. When I first saw New Jack City, I had no idea that this was the same woman that played in She's Gotta Have It. After New Jack City came out in 1991, she seemed to have just disappeared. She didn't play in any movie roles for 20 years. For 20 years, she didn't do any movie roles, any TV roles. She didn't do any modeling. She just kept a low profile for the next 20 years. Maybe she got tired of the spotlight and she just wanted to live a normal life. But in 2017, she made a comeback. She appeared in the rebooted version of She's Gotta Have It. Spike Lee made a rebooted version of the movie on Netflix and she appeared in the series. Today, she's 56 years old. She's a community activist and she does charity work in the community by feeding homeless kids and homeless families. So she's doing a lot of good things in society and I'm glad to see that she's still alive and well. A lot of people have different opinions about this topic. Leave a comment, rate and subscribe.